CCTV News, I'm Lee Lee in Beijing. Chinese President Xi Jinping has arrived in Washington, D.C., the second stop of his first U.S. state visit. And U.S. President Barack Obama earlier welcomed Xi Jinping to the White House. They have also held a private talk at a working dinner. And White House aides said the presidents will discuss major issues between the two countries. And on Friday, U.S. time, President Xi will receive a grand welcoming ceremony at the White House and hold further talks with his U.S. counterpart. And before flying to the U.S. capital, President Xi concluded a busy two-and-a-half-day stay in the west coast city of Seattle, home to many technology and aviation companies. And the president's next stop will be New York. He will be in the city from September the 26th to the 28th for a series of summits and meetings marking the 70th anniversary of the founding of the United Nations. Now, for more on President uh, Xi's uh, schedule in Washington, we now cross live to our correspondent, Jessica Stone, at the White House. Jessica, hello there. Well, there's already uh, a site set of uh, climbing deals ready to be announced on Friday. Uh, Umo, can you tell us about those? Well, this is really interesting, actually. Uh, White House officials are saying that there will be a packet of climate agreements to be announced around that press conference uh, that's going to be on Friday around the middle of the day by both leaders. Uh, and the most significant uh, item here is uh, an agreement by China to uh, have what's called a cap-and-trade plan. It would be national and it would be launched in 2017. What that does is it limits carbon uh, emissions, and it also puts a price on greenhouse gas emissions. And there's sort of a, a trade system that would be set up nationwide. This is an idea that has not yet been confirmed by Chinese officials, but it's also one that the United States has not been able to put on a federal level, and the Europeans have tried and failed as well. So it's uh, going to be really interesting to see what type of details we hear about at that public press conference on Friday. Well, Jessica, uh, the two leaders uh, just wrapped up, wrapped up a private a working dinner at the White House, and obviously the leaders uh, do not agree on everything. What are the issues that the U.S. is most concerned about? Well, it's, it's, it's an issue that I think China and the Chinese president have addressed since uh, it's touching the ground in uh, Seattle, the issue of cyber theft. Uh, and cyber hacking and cyber security. Uh, we've seen a tremendous amount of concern from this White House on that, even the threat of sanctions prior to this visit around that very issue. Those so far have not been implemented, as you know, uh, but that is going to be a very hot topic uh, for these two leaders to discuss. And it's certainly one that President Xi, as I mentioned, has also addressed uh, from his first remarks in Seattle, talking about the possibility of a high-level dialogue between the U.S. and China on this matter. Uh, another uh, high hot topic, just the state of the economy. You know, the global markets really reacted to the recent measures in the Chinese stock market, as well as what happened with the yuan devaluation. And so there's going to be a lot of talk around that. And of course, the Chinese uh, have a perennial set of issues, that probably the most important of which is market access to the United States. There are a lot of systems in place uh, that keep certain Chinese companies out of U.S. markets, and that's something that we see raised time and time again. And I think it's fair to say that it's gotten more difficult for certain Chinese companies to enter U.S. markets in certain sectors. All right, Jessica, well, now can you tell us more about uh, President Xi's schedule on Friday? Uh, well, there will be, as you mentioned, uh, just a beautiful arrival ceremony uh, in the morning on Friday, and that's usually uh, going to have a 21-gun salute and a lot of pageantry and fanfare. Uh, this is something uh, that will take place in the morning. It will be on the south lawn of the White House. We're expecting nice weather for that. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing that happen on Friday morning. Uh, and then a lot of meetings throughout the, the morning and the mid-morning, followed by a public press conference uh, where uh, both leaders will take questions. And we're expecting to hear more, as I said, about climate and certainly cyber. Um, and then the afternoon is an event, is a, a time when President Xi will get an opportunity to meet with congressional leaders, to meet with uh, people at the State Department, Treasury officials, uh, and it's going to all be capped off by the tremendous honor of a state visit. You know, China is the only country in the world that has been given two state dinners by this administration, and it's no small thing. It's a tremendous honor. It's really the highest honor that any White House can give to a national leader. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Jessica Stone reporting from the White House.
in Washington, D.C. Now, during his trip to Washington State, Chinese President Xi Jinping turned out to be a big hit with students, especially at Lincoln High School in the city of Tacoma, just an hour's drive south of Seattle. As McNeil reports, many students say it was a win-win experience they will never forget. Thank you. China. We love China. Students from several Tacoma high schools lined the street outside Lincoln High, giggling and giddy, documenting the once-in-a-lifetime visit that lies in store. They're really interested in international politics, and this is a big opportunity for me to see one of the most powerful men in the world. Really looking forward to see, like, a president, I mean, appear in front of me. Yeah, so it means a lot. These students are both nervous and excited about meeting President Xi Jinping. They strive to make a good impression and make him feel welcome. The Lincoln High School football team, the Abes, gave their special guest a dose of America's most popular sport by presenting him an American football and a personalized jersey. President Xi brought the Abes a ping pong table, a collection of books about China, and a big surprise, an invitation for 100 students from Lincoln High School to be guests of the Chinese government next year. As we Chinese say, a person has to read thousands of books, but at the same time travel thousands of miles. So you also have to travel thousands of miles. And every one of you is welcome to visit China often and experience China for yourselves. And I hope through your in-depth exchanges with Chinese youngsters and also through close engagement with ordinary folks in China, you will have a fuller and deeper understanding of my country. You will know China better and hopefully you will fall in love with China. Hereby, I am ready to extend my invitation to a hundred students from the Lincoln High School to be our guests in China next year. Xi's personal touch impressed the students in an advanced placement government class he visited. Our fellow students were talking about um, going to wanting to go to China in their dreams and our teacher and the president talking, uh, he came up to us, our table, at the first row and shook all of our hands. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> President Xi first visited Tacoma more than 20 years ago while striking a sister city partnership between the port city and Fuzhou, China, where he was a local party official. Today, nearly $22 billion worth of goods are shipped between China and Tacoma, making China Tacoma's largest trading partner. Harold Moss is the former Tacoma mayor who signed the sister city agreement with then party official Xi two decades ago. It's moments like this that you carry the rest of your life. You never forget it. You just never forget it. And as you get older, the importance of it becomes even more so. And as we exchange students, it will become even more because it will be tangible and real. For President Xi, this trip was both about recalling his memories of days gone by, while also creating plenty of new ones for future generations. Mark New, CCTV, Seattle. Well, President Xi Jinping began his uh, state visit to the United States with a speech at a welcoming ceremony in Seattle. He was welcomed by U.S. officials and business leaders. In his speech, Xi Jinping talked about uh, China's economy and its ongoing reform, and he touched on a number of issues that have strained China-U.S. ties, including cybersecurity. And Xi Jinping said China is still the largest developing country in the world. He said development is China's priority, and China continues to follow a model of a peaceful development. And he said China's economic downturn is temporary and that market turmoil will not alter the government's plans for reform because reform is the only way for China to develop. And he said China needs the rule of law. And one cyber, on cyber security, Xi Jinping said China is also the victim of cyber attacks. He vowed to work with the U.S. in fighting cyber crime and said the two countries could cooperate in a wider range of fields. Now let's talk more about uh, the relations between China and the U.S. with our guest in the studio, Mr. Chen Jianqun from China Institute of International Studies. Welcome to our program, Mr. Teng. Well, indeed, uh, President Xi Jinping's uh, trip to the U.S. Start, started uh, in Seattle. Obviously, the business and trade relations between the two countries is very important. It actually goes beyond uh, for bilateral ties, and it also impacts the world prosperity. 
as well, then in what ways do you think that China and the U.S. can enhance their trade relations? Uh, I quite agree with you that the economic and the trade relation has been the most important part of our relations you know, uh, in past nearly uh, 40 years. And uh, in recent years, we are facing new situations, for example, uh, the slowdown of Chinese e economy and also uh, the regulations and the laws you know, uh, established by the Chinese People's Congress, uh, which will be related to the uh, business activities in China. So we heard complaints and worries from the U.S. side. Uh, they said uh, China might close its door. You know, to stop is uh, open up. So, how can uh, uh, our leader, you know, President Xi Jinping, gave a very clear cut uh, signal uh, to the businessmen and to the industry sector? Actually, he did quite well. You know, in Seattle, he met uh, the business leaders and also industry leaders. Also, uh, paid a visit to uh, high school and uh, uh, to see the overseas Chinese, and he gave a very clear cut. You know explanation on the Chinese uh, economic situation and uh, he also uh, gave a very promising uh, vision on the future of China's uh, economic development. For example, uh, the 13th five-year five plan mm -hmm. now is under uh, review. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, after this visit, I'm sure the uh, business and uh, industrial leaders will have a very uh, clear vision on the future and uh, will be uh, very affirmative, you know, in the uh, relation, in the cooperation uh, between China.